Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this beer poster trend that you've probably seen all over TikTok. It's currently blowing up right now and I know you guys want to try it out. Well, you guys are in luck because today's video is going to be quick and easy and will require absolutely no PC or editing knowledge. It's going to be straight to the point so you guys know exactly what to do. Before we do get into that, if you guys go down and leave a like on this video, it would help it in the algorithm and really help me out. Also, also subscribe to the channel if you're into TikTok trends and want to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest online entertainment trends make sure hit that sub button we're closing in on like 55,000 subscribers which is just unreal and I'm constantly posting TikTok tutorials I know you guys like them so make sure you do subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff without further ado let's get right into this tutorial so the first step is actually taking the photo itself now this should be pretty self-explanatory you want to be outside in the bathing suit either by the pool or on the beach now I'm sure you guys know how to take a quality photo however there's one thing to keep in mind that you want a open space in the picture when you take it here's a fantastic example right here as you can see this woman is posing in the photo but she's leaving a lot of empty space in the photograph itself so that there's room to put the big beer sponsored logo also something cool that can add to the quality of your photo if you know you are going for a Budweiser natural light for example of this photo right here try and get some color theming along with the logo itself so as you can see the natural is all blue and she's in a blue chair with a very blue background it just adds that extra touch to making this poster absolutely perfect. All right, so once your photo is finally taken, you just wanna open up this app called Pixart, which is completely free and takes no time at all to sign up. I'm not sure if you have to make an account or not for the Pixart app, but it doesn't cost you anything at all and it has so many editing options. So once you're on Pixart, what you wanna do is find the photo that you took and you could take multiple photos, just repeat the process process over. Then once you find that photo, you want to go over to Google or Safari and look up the logo of the company that you want to use. I'd recommend searching the company name then logo.png. That way you'll find the logo without a background. Once you find the logo, save it to your camera roll and then also find a beer bottle of that same company because it adds a little nice touch on the end. Once you have your photos, go back to the Pixar app, go down to the bottom bar and click Add photo, then select your two photos and bam, you'll have the transparent logos and beer bottle and then you can just adjust the sizes. Like I said before, making the logo in the massive empty space. In this example, we've added an array and there is a massive background which makes it perfect for a beer poster. You can also add the little beer bottle into the side. I've seen some people do it and some people not do it on TikTok. I think it adds a nice little touch and you can add a shadow to it as you can see I'm doing right now and I'm just adjusting the strength of the shadow so how dark it is and where it's located at. But yeah, once your logo and beer bottle are perfectly fitted, you can just hit apply and then next and bam, you can save the photo to the camera roll, easy as that. However, there is an extra step I would like to include that may be of interest to you. So a cool little effect you can do to get more of an antique vibe if that's what you're going for. Since a lot of these beer posters are from back in the day, you can go to effects down below and then scroll till you see noise. If you double click the noise option, you can even adjust how much noise you want and the fade of the picture. I recommend going anywhere from like 30 to 40 noise. However, you can play around with whatever suits you best and bam, you can just save your photo after that and it will turn out amazing, I guarantee you. So I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. It'd mean a ton as I've been posting TikTok related content on the weekly basis. It's been your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace. Next time.